right, here we go. Small grains for 2020, 2021. So got the disc hooked up to the 46, been doing a bunch of tillage, um, getting ground ready, almost done. Got the 2640 hooked up to the John Deere 8300 drill. Um, just kind of getting it all ready to go and go ahead and get some seed put in there. Um, let's take a look in this. I've not opened this since last season. Uh, not too bad. See some rat droppings, some old oats. So yeah, it's not too bad. We'll get that blown out quick. Got a nice assortment of chicken crap, leaves, and straw up top. It's the huge downside to having free range chickens is sometimes they get in the barn or shed and crap on your equipment. But we get eggs, so maybe it's an even trade. All right, so. Uh, First thing we're going with is oats. I'll show you kind of what I got going on here as well as seed I bought for the grazing. Grazing land is fertilized uh, and tilled up. It, ground worked up really nice. So uh, I'll try to get it in here quick. Uh, it should have been in, um, should have been in about two weeks ago, but uh, Here's what we got. Um, all this back there is oat seed, and then we got some back in there. Like 12 bags back there. I think it's 48 bags total, and I still got more to pick up uh, at the place that um, cleans my seed for me. They also store my seed through the summer until I get ready to plant it. This here is just corn uh, that I've been selling to customers in bags. Um, that's basically all I've got left. Um, of corn for this year and here's what i bought for the grazing so with it being so late i wanted to go with the uh, winter rye uh, because you know it grows it grows better at cold in colder temps so most of the season left is going to be a little cooler if this would have been a little earlier like i had planned i had thought about going with the oats but anyways i went to search for some rye no surprise, it's in short supply this year. So I was barely able to find any. Uh, if I could find any, it was $23, $24 a bag. And honestly, at the rate I was gonna put that out, it just, I don't know, just didn't really feel like paying that. Uh, when I know earlier in the season, there was people were selling it for $14, $15, $16 a bag. So I kind of missed out on that. But anyways, I was gonna go with the expensive winter rye because um, really all I needed to plant that field was like 12 bags. Um, but uh, the company that was looking for some rye for me and they found some, it was like $23 a bag for a 50 pound bag. They found me some of this. Uh, this is rye, winter rye, cereal rye, whatever you wanna call it, and ryegrass mix and it was $17 a bag. I decided to go with it. Um, you know, I'm not too worried about the ryegrass. The cow should have it grazed all the way down, so I don't have to worry about it becoming a, a weed. Um, so, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this is the right decision. Um, I'm going into corn on this field next year. Um, so anyways, when I bought it, they said it was 6%. Let's come out here in the sun if I can. They told me it was 6% ryegrass. Yeah, I don't... Uh, I think there's a little, that's a little bit of a stretch, but... Uh, they said the germination on both was really good. And anyways, I went with it. Looking back at it, I probably wouldn't have bought this. Um because I actually had a friend call and told me he had some rye that looks like he wasn't gonna be able to plant uh, for $16 a bag. So I don't know, this mixture will be good. 
Um, I'm actually planning on, once it gets up and going, if I have a couple of bags of oats left over, I may go out there with a little bit of um, um, uh, granular nitrogen and oats and kind of spread that in there. So it'll be a nice three species mix. Um, you know, the rye, ryegrass and oats. So it should make really good grazing, winter grazing. Uh, the plan right now, since I'm coming into that field with corn, is to start working the corn ground around mid-March or so, so that I have time to get my fertilizer and all that done. Um, so I'm going to start grazing it around the first week of February. So that'll give me about just about 45 days of grazing and graze it hard. And um, hopefully this this works out. Um, yeah, so anyways, um, I'm not sure what crop it's going to go into next fall. That would be my only concern is throwing ryegrass out there. If it somehow doesn't germinate, which I don't know, I'm not really sure if I'm too worried about that. If it doesn't, doesn't germinate this fall, it may germinate next fall. So I've had a crop like oats or winter rye out there for grain. There's no herbicides to take a grass out of a grass in those crops. There is for wheat, but there isn't for oats and rye. So that wouldn't be too good, but I think <laughs> the majority of it should come up. That's the, that's the hope. And I can also maybe do some deep tillage out there to kind of bury that seed for next fall if I think it's going to be an issue. But with the price of wheat, it's getting a little better. I've considered, plant, I'm hoping to plant a few acres this fall, uh, but with the, with the price of wheat possibly going up, I might be able to throw some wheat out there and be able to control ryegrass. But there's the field right there. Uh, man, it just got really good. So anyways, I had a, a lot of cool comments, a lot of good comments on my last video on the uh, pecans. Um, so just kind of wanted to show what I've been doing. I've picked out two tarps right now. I really, I've just been maybe like an hour a day, just, and I've only been picking out pecans for probably three days now. So I've got this plus a couple more like full sacks full, but uh, this is the finished product. Uh, this, these come from the tree right here right behind me. So here this weekend, um, we'll go ahead and start getting these moved. Um, yeah, they look, some of them are cracked like that, but. Here's a good looking one, but yep, it's very, very slow, but you know, it's just something where I like to, you know, you can do it in the, in the afternoon or at night, you know, I'll just sit down and listen to a good agriculture, agricultural podcast and pick through pecans. So anyways, that's all I got. Um, about to go uh, get this grain drill fixed up, get it all cleaned out. And I got a 12 acre field that is ready to go. It's had fertilizer on it. It's been ripped and it's been disced twice. So it is ready to go. Um, last year I started planting oats on the 27th of November. I would like to actually start, I think it's tomorrow the 20th. I believe tomorrow's the 20th. Um, I'd like to be able to start um, about, you know, seven days earlier than last year. Every year I keep, every year I plant oats, I keep getting earlier and earlier and earlier, which I think is going to be crucial for, for big yields, obviously. But um, I've made profitable oats planting all the way out to January 15th. So as long as, in my opinion, as long as you can get them in before Christmas and you're still gonna have, you know, you, you until January 15th to still be able to have a chance at making a profitable crop, but it does, the probability of that does start to go down after Christmas. But I've made some really good oats planting a couple of days before Christmas, but um, I'd like to, you know, like I say, I'd like to put some oats in tomorrow. Um, I think I'm going to be able to do that because I think that will be 
that'll be a, a big key to some big yields. So I'm excited for that. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you to everybody that's been watching my videos, all my subscribers, everybody that comments. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, I'll try to do as many videos as I can on um, uh, planting, planting small grain this fall. Um, I've showed a lot of this on the channel before, so um, I'll try to make some different type of videos than kind of what what uh i've been doing in the past couple years for planting so hopefully some action shots and um just kind of explaining more of the the process and kind of what i do um on growing oats so thanks guys